What's up guys, I'm Mike Knowles. We've all been there. You work really hard on your YouTube video, you upload it, happily with your audience to view it, and content ID. Yep, all your money gone from all those views you're about to get because, well, someone thinks you might be using their content inappropriately. Well, thanks to YouTube's announcement today, that will become easier for people, and thank God, because this is exactly the kind of solution I personally have been thinking they should just been doing for years. So, in an announcement today from YouTube, they announced a new way the Content ID will be used. From now on, Content ID systems will work out as follows. When you upload a video to YouTube, it is processed and Content ID will look over for any kind of content that is registered to be the property of another owner. If anything is found, it will be immediately flagged, as usual, for having a content match. From here though, the policy gets changed up. Instead of unmonetizing the video completely, the video gets monetized, but all revenue earned is held by Google. Once the dispute has been resolved, all the money that has been held to this point will be paid out to whoever has won the content ID dispute. From then on out, things will work traditionally, as if you won the dispute, you'll keep getting money from the monetization, and if not, whoever owns that content will get the monetization money, as per usual. YouTube said in a statement about this new policy, we understand just how important revenue is to our creator community, and we've been listening closely to frustration about the loss of monetization during the content ID dispute process. We strongly believe in fair use and believe that this improvement to Content ID will make a real difference. In addition to our other works on the Content ID dispute process, we're also paying close attention to creators' concerns about copyright claims on videos they believe may be fair use. We want to help both the YouTube community and the copyright owners alike better understand what fair use looks like online, which is why we launched our fair use protection program last year and recently introduced new help center pages on the topic. So good on you, YouTube. Finally, you've allowed creators to not have to sacrifice their own creative vision to not risk the chance of losing their paycheck because of Content ID taking away monetization during the very critical time of the upload when most of the money will be made, especially for people like us who do news stories. On the other hand, you still have to work on your problems when it comes to taking down videos when companies flag them as not being fair use. Currently, YouTube's system for this is that they allow companies to claim content of theirs that they believe isn't fair use and that it be taken down. Even if it isn't fair use, the immediate response of YouTube is to completely remove the video until you prove that you have the proper rights to use it. Sort of a guilty until proven innocent system, which kind of sucks. Uh, of course, on YouTube's part, they're just trying to avoid any kind of lawsuits and cover themselves so that companies, you know, don't sue them like Viacom did way back in the day. Regardless, though, this is a great first step to solving this entire problem, and good on YouTube for finally taking it and allowing us creators our creative freedom. You know, just punish us later if we break the rules. Uh, so what do you guys think about all this? How can we solve the bigger problems when it comes to fair use and content ID? And also, what do you guys think about this change? Is there a way to slightly improve it, or is this just right? I think it's, I think it's fine. I think they're settling the problem they're trying to solve right now, and they'll solve the rest of the problems later. Also, guys, next Tuesday we'll be playing Overwatch over on Twitch channel. So if you want to know when we go live or when we get our finals, you can go in the link in the description down below and follow us on Twitch and get that email when we go live. And as always, guys, subscribe for more great daily content or check out our video, and we'll see you guys later. Internet agree, 72 to 28. I didn't think it'd be that much, but I don't know why 20% people just have their hand down there. 28% of 30. Way, that's not a way of living. But alright. I mean, what do you think I'm doing with my other hand right now? Would you rather would you rather Skittles or MMs? Would you rather Skittles or Eminem? Skittles. Skittles. Would you rather? You ra What is to Skittle, though? I would rather Skittle. I would rather Skittle. Skittle. I'm not a fan of either, so. Ah, Skittles wins. I am a fan of. I am.